Like, I'm back again. Like, Each video oh, kind of, I cut the first one off. Second one cut off on its own, I guess, because the battery was too low. But the point is but to build a strong positive. I'm still eating my food. Yeah, it's a little messy. I got my gloves in my hand. The teacher is hoping as the garden grows, so are the gardeners. I'm Ailey Luis, NBC 5 News. How does that make sense? The hands on collaboration. So, I can't tell you about how one family is making a difference for hundreds of women and children. Plus, we'll show you how the Bears teamed up with nonprofits to help folks who are fortunate today out in Bourbonnet. Mm. Not even full. So good. human being in a costume. Bat-like wings. Man-like legs. No such thing as moth, man! And I do mean fur. I've ever seen a lot. And I hope in this lifetime I never see it before anything like me. That's a kite. Citizens who feel that it was 101% hoax, you know. I personally think that there was something out there that scared the wits out of most of the people who came what is this strange creature? No one knows. It's a man in a costume. Somebody made a costume. Has seen something in the woods that they can't explain. That's a kite. They call it the moth. I don't believe. I don't believe. Her husband and another couple took a drive to an area called the TNT. I think it's a grown man who's been pissed off and fed up with people being bullshitters, messing with him. He decided to mess with everybody else. I'm stuck. Oh my god, I'm stuck. I'm about to say this later. <laughs> that was good. Little glow. Little sign. The next day, I guess Marcella Tate left her brother's house with her four year old daughter. When I got to the car and read for the Huh, oh, right at the end. Nice try. I could see that I was something. Tomorrow, bro. 
I'm going back out on the lake. This time in Wisconsin. Come on, man, really. Are we doing this? That's not what's happening here. Say my marriage you know, divorce. Boy. A guy by his business, about his thing. Women about everybody in my life, always, all the time. Got to make sure that everybody's okay. She got 25 people that, that she worries about every day. And it's hard. And sometimes you got to acknowledge and give her a break. And you got to, and, and just because you don't feel what she's feeling doesn't mean it's not legit. Just because you, it doesn't mean that she's secure. You see what I'm saying? I think you love her. I think you love him. But you got to get off dead stop green. And you got to get off where well, everything's fine the way it is. Because it's not. It's not. Y'all need some counseling. That's where marriages fail. It's when they think, oh, everything's fine and it's really not. Yeah. Uh, and I ain't doing nothing. But, you know, everybody, you can do better than, than, than bare minimal. Yeah, you, know you can. You know what I mean? Sometimes my husband had to step up and play Superman for me. He just had to. I just fell apart. Brother just had to stand in a breach. And wait till I got it together. Not wait till I got to do what he had to do to handle the business Tell it together. That was your turn. And I'm going to ask you to do it. All right? All right? My best to both of you. This matter is adjourned. Alan? Um, whatever was in that process, this shit, I'm going to throw one too. We, um, we try to practice what, what the judge says. Uh, if it works, it works. If not, it we made the decision to for our kids, whether it's together or not. Jim and I had a lot to say out there today. One from me, calling you selfish. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You, know, there. you met this man. One thing you called your wife was selfish. He was the way he was when you met him. You married him. You thought it was going to change him. Or even with the woman. You thought it was going to change this person. But it really didn't. The only person that really changed was you. Because all the, all the time. His name is Gemini. Oh, wow. They cannot stop arguing. You met this man. You knew he was, what he was doing. You knew this man wasn't mentally all there. He was still mentally a child. Why marry somebody thinking it's going to change who they are? If they show you who they are in the beginning, you need to believe them and walk away from it. Don't wait five, six years down the line when you got like four or five children by them. Like that just makes absolutely no sense. And then the only reason why you're still together is because of the children. No, it's not right. You should never sacrifice yourself your happiness or your self-worth for anybody else if they're not doing something that they're supposed to be doing to begin with before you got in a relationship with them while you were in a relationship with them and before you got married it is time to walk away i don't know who needs to hear this but somebody needs to hear this somebody out there needs to really hear this because every time I turn around, somebody's getting divorced. Somebody's splitting up. People are having issues with with uh, uh, commitment. You know. No, you knew who this person was. And I say that out of experience, too. Because I thought certain things would change the person. And it didn't. They were who they were. And I believed it. So I walked away. Ducky Derby! That's already on its way. It said it could have been a lot worse. Thank God, how does this even happen? There he is. Big Dave's coming. Who do you want to 
off your birthday thing, dog. It's okay. I'm good. Come on. Sky's the limit. Dream big, my boy. Well, I guess I could guess about it. Yeah, you're right. I don't need it. My extension cord works pretty good. Every year Luke's birthday falls right around Thanksgiving, and so it gets lost in the holiday shuffle. You know, one year we forgot completely and we had to improvise a cake. Which, by the way, he was fine with. He's one of those kids who give him a gift and all he wants to do is play with the box. Yeah, one year we actually just got him a box. A really nice box. And we made the mistake of putting it in a gift bag. So he played with the gift bag. We can't get it right. I feel terrible. Oh. We gotta do something. Yeah, um, well, you know, the family is gonna be together for Thanksgiving for the first time, and I don't even know how long. So. I am so with you. We should blow this out and throw Luke to that big party of all time. Yes, yes, we'll order a whole bunch of pizza and an arts and crafts table. What? Yeah, and a crafts table. You know, everybody gathers around and they make stuff, and then bam, they got a room party paper. <laughs> Sorry, I fell asleep while you were describing the most boring party ever. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most boring party ever. Thirteen. Two more years. Two and a half more years. And my child would be sixteen. I'm definitely gonna his birthday party. Lee to me city. Okay, with the, uh, right now, my comical romance here. Listen to the background. The voices are dozens of separate audio bites all spliced together. Look. All the different tracks layered on top of each other. Exactly, and the boy's voice was the dominant layer. Were you able to get anything off the background sounds? There is something. Now my Brazilian Portuguese is rusty, but I think she's saying stop, which is pare, and then something about more money, something costing more money. Can, can you replay it? I hear something right before she says pare. Mm -hmm. It sort of sounds like a whip. And her tone changes. When she says stop, she sounds afraid, but then the rest is matter of fact. So is she just pretending to be scared? She's asking for more money, so she could be being paid to be tortured. What if she's a prostitute? This could be an S&M scenario she was hoping for. This is where a pimp works. According to our local source, of all the pimps in town, all right. a guy known for imported girls. You know who she is? She's speaking Brazilian Portuguese, if that helps jog your memory. What am I, Rosetta Stone? Well, we have reason to believe she's a prostitute. Any of your girls, maybe from 15 years back, speak Portuguese? I don't know, said you guys, but you obviously got the wrong idea about me. As you can plainly see, I'm a purveyor of fine meats. No, Leon, we were told that you're in a pretty lucrative business on the side. Now you're flattering me. I make a meat barbecue sauce, but I don't make much money on it. You know, I find it interesting you haven't asked what any of this is about. I have a dreadful lack of curiosity. Well, let me fill you in. A child was murdered yesterday, and at his home they found blood on his front door. Pig's blood. You know what? It actually just occurred to me, but I feel like this is the sort of shop you can find a lot of pig's blood. Oh, you're right. We're not saying you had anything to do with this, Leon. We are saying that the FBI is desperate for any leads, and it would be a shame if we had to shut your shop down to collect the DNA samples to try to identify the source of that pig's blood. <laughs> I look. I don't know nothing about blood on the door, but I think I do remember something about uh, a couple of Brazilian girls used to work for uh, an acquaintance of mine. What were their names? Raquel Castro and Luisa Gomez. Raquel moved back to Brazil in '95. What about Luisa? That bitch. She totally betrayed my Dang, buddy. Joke. Did she walk out on him? No. She married his best customer. Ah, she got a payday. She got a whole payday.
<laughs> she got paid. Yeah, you do. You were a pro. You were a pro grammar. Now his wife is missing. I need my face wipes. I'll be back. Oh, that is so red. My acne. So, what they did with my finger was, she, she sprayed the stuff on it. Ooh, God, it burned. And, it's like, in, it looked like a little nail glue tube, and she squirted it on, on it. And, she let it dry, and then... She took a rubbing, alcohol rubbing pad. She wiped it to get all the germs off of it and let it dry. And then that's when she put the the adhesive on it, the skin adhesive. 
don't even want to go outside right now. Ew. So dirty in my face. Me. I need to put some straps on this dress. I don't know where my slip strap is for. I would love to wear that slip dress. This is dress dress, but it's too short. My titties and my... I don't have, like, a huge ass one. I've been over it now. You know, I'll see everything. And then she let that dry, and then she put the band-aid around it. And told me you don't get it wet for about 24 or 48 hours. Not even to wrap it. So then she just gave me some gloves. She's going to have them fill in a, a order for gloves, but I'm allergic to latex. Yes, I still use condoms. I suck that up, because I rather use a condom and have to take the fucking a Benadryl than to catch an STD or get pregnant, I'll tell you that. Cause ain't nobody out here trying to be like that, sure. Or catch one. I should say, ain't nobody trying to get none. I'm not trying to, you know, be with somebody who's like Usher and doesn't tell you they got some shit. And that's what I was trying to say. Because, you know, people are... Hmm. Shamar Moore is fine. So I get home, and guess what I see on the news? There's a parasite in the water. 
However, if you're wearing sunscreen, it's going to stay away from you. There's something in sunscreen that they don't like. Well, I'm going to get off of here. Alright, so make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell below, you guys. Alright, I will definitely see you in the next video. Love ya. Peace.